Hey guys, welcome to my first um, AutoWit version 3 tutorial on how basic coding. Um, it's my first tutorial, so sorry if it's super crappy. I mean, I got Camtasia, so everything should be good. But anyway, um, the first thing you want to do is have AutoWit version 3 downloaded. Um, I'll post the link to the site in the description. But um, once you get to the home page, um, there's a button down here that says download AutoWit version 3. And you just click that and download it. It's pretty easy. Explanatory, and um, once you have it downloaded, it will be in a folder. But I've already extracted everything to my desktop because I use it so much. What you make scripts with is the site script editor. Um, so that's really the basic thing you need. Um, there's the compiler that makes the scripts into exe files, executable files. Um, that's a window information kind of thing where um, you can get colors um, from your desktop. Like if your mouse is over here, it'll get its color. It's for making GUIs with colors and text with color and stuff like, and getting X and Y's like with the location of your mouse. Mouse, and you don't have to know that, but I'm just saying. But and I have like a GUI program that makes GUI windows, which are graphic user interfaces. Um, but anyway, um, let's get started with the tutorial. You go ahead and open it up. Oh well, there's my. Now I can, okay. The first thing you want to do is um, go ahead and save it as something. Mine's already saved, but yours won't be because if you won't, if it's not saved and it's untitled, you won't be able to run it and stuff. It doesn't matter what you save it as; just save it as your first project, first project, whatever you want. It doesn't really. Wow. Ugh. Okay. It doesn't really matter. I mean, as long as you can, just it doesn't matter. Okay. So what you want to do first, now that you've saved it, is the first function I'm going to teach you is run. Run opens up files that, like, programs on your computer. It can open up the internet uh, and specified programs. It can even open, like, Camtasia or something, or Paint or a game or something. It doesn't, it's just, it's just used to open programs that you're going to use in your script or whatever you're making. So what it's going to be is run, R-U-N, and then you're going to have parentheses. Every function ha is basically in parentheses. You're going to have your parentheses and then down here it, it helps out and says what you're for beginners if you don't like remember what I said in my tutorial but it helps a lot right here but um you after your parentheses you're going to put file um quotations to in, to indicate where your file name is and you're going to put your file name I'll just use notepad cuz it's simple. Notepad and then include that extension it has to be .exe. Most files you can tell like um just right click them and click properties and then um, in general you can see all the way where is it I gotta find it somewhere in this thing this is where I look but you might not have that I don't know how I have it but I look there but um there has to be other hold on I don't know you I'm sure you can find it as it has to be somewhere but um, that's where I find mine. It might be different for yours, but um, uh, as long as you include that, it will know what to file to open, and then you just close those quotations. Everything else you don't really need to worry about because it's extended file or styles, extended styles, which you really don't need to worry about. As long as it opens, it's fine. And then the next thing we're gonna do is send text. With that, we're gonna use the function send s e n d. Use your quotations. I mean your parentheses and your quotations and Keys, you can do like keystrokes, like enter, alt, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do text. So it's just quotations. Um, hey guys, this is my tutorial. Close those quotations and parentheses. You don't have to worry about anything else. And let's test this out. You can t uh, press tools go or F5. I do F5 because it's faster. See? Um, Windows reads it way too fast. It does it, it goes so fast that it doesn't even run the notepad. So what we what, what we got to do is add a delay. So what you're gonna do is add the function sleep. Um, since it's um, a number, a numeric value, you don't have quotations because quotations is usually for text value. So it's numbers. So you're gonna have it's in milliseconds for auto it. I don't know why they do milliseconds, but I can I think Visual Basic it's seconds, but I'm not sure. But um. 1,000 um, milliseconds is one second, so you can put 1,000. I'm going to put 2,000 to be safe. And close those off with the parentheses. Let's test this out. 
All right, it opened up Notepad. Hey guys, this is my tutorial. Pretty basic. I mean, pretty cool though. If you want to, you can just really experiment with these functions and make a really sweet program. But <clears throat> after this, we're gonna add one more function. It's a message box. It opens up a little message box um, with an OK button or a cancel, depending on this thing. A flag. A flag determines what buttons on the bottom. It could be OK, OK, and cancel, abort. It depends, but OK is just zero, so you don't really have to worry. You can just put your title, but you can just put zero. Make sure you have that comma to separate um, what you're indicating. Now for your title, um, just title doesn't really matter. And the quotation, comma, for our next um, extension is going to be the text. So you're going to put, um, this is the last function I'm going to show you. Close those quotations. Everything else is timeout and... That's just extended values, you don't really need to worry about that. Close this uh, parentheses, test it out. Hey guys, my tutorial. And this is the last function I'm going to show you. Here's the message box. It's pretty cool. The thing about, I like about AutoWid is um, it has a lot of things that can help you. Like the, the functions include little boxes that come up which can help out and say what the function does and just really outline what you're going to do. So, um,. It's it's really cool, but um, this is my only my first tutorial. I'll show you a lot more in your next tutorials. It's my first one, so I'm just I'm basically needing to find out what I'm gonna how am I gonna separate all the different functions and stuff. But I hope it wasn't too crappy. Um, but I'll try to open make a new tutorial as soon as possible. But before I go, I'm gonna show you one of my bots that I have. Um, uh, it's a YouTube viewer. No, I'm not gonna show you that one. It's a um, this one is for a link visitor. It I'm not gonna show you the script because people could see it. I don't know. I'm just not gonna show you. But I'll test it out. To show you. Um, come on, you piece of crap. All right, here it is. Um, this is a GUI. It, it's a window that you create. Um, here's a menu. They all have functions. You click them about comes up with a message box um that goes to a website but i'm not going to do it um help you know they all work url has an input box Oops. um you can put uh youtube.com proxies you can use proxies because what well, depending on the site sometimes you have to use proxies uh, depends you got delays in your milliseconds and um it's not going to work cuz i don't have proxies but it comes up with a number there and it it actually works which is pretty cool Believe me, I've tested it before, but um, that's pretty cool. But this GUI maker, I'm gonna show you real fast. <clears throat> it's this little thing right here. You press a new window, click a title. I'm just gonna put space; it doesn't really matter. And you can choose the location, drag it, add labels, blah, blah. um, add buttons. It's pretty cool. Like that, and you can export the script to uh, edit it and um, auto it. But um, I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> it's obviously crappy. Well, um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. Again, I'll try to make my new, uh, second one as soon as possible. I know there's tons on YouTube, and I'm just doing this for fun. I mean, there's probably a lot better ones in mind. But um, other than that, um, please rate and comment and send me a message if you have any questions and subscribe if you actually liked it. View my other videos as well, they're pretty sweet. So, uh, see you later guys.